Hey guys, today we want to talk about a subject that's not really fun to talk about because it's something that I have. Um, over in the Philippines, we tend to have a lot of problems with mosquitoes, dengue fever, things like that. Dengue is not really that common over here, as common as people talk about. It, it is in some sections, depending on where, where you are. In other sections, they don't have it as bad. This area here, once in a while, somebody will have dengue or something like that. But for the most part, we really don't have it that much here. <clears throat> One of the things that people do have over here, and this happens for some reason more with older um, expats, people that might be pre-diabetes or diabetics, or their immune system is compromised for some reason or whatever, and it's something called cellulitis, okay? Cellulitis usually starts this way, and this is the way it started with me. If you get a mosquito bite or a rash or something like that, and you're scratching it with your fingernails, it gets infected. And what happens is it goes into your blood. The bacteria goes in your blood and you start getting like these little pimples. It looks like little pimples. Sometimes they have pus, sometimes they don't. Sometimes it forms in other ways. You get these big red blotches and stuff. You start having skin disorders and all kinds of issues and you're wondering why your skin is having so many problems. Why, why you're getting these little itchy bumps and stuff like that on you and and what it is is it's a cellulitis okay now i went into the doctor i had it diagnosed the doctor diagnosed me with it put me on um antibiotics for it she put me on the antibiotics she gave it to me i took it for the the the, the amount of time that she told me to it was like seven or eight days or ten days or something like that and next thing you know i thought it was gone I went to see her. Everything seemed okay. And I started having problems again. I started noticing maybe a year later. Actually, it was less than a year. I started having like minor skin problems. And I'm like, hey, you know, my skin's not the greatest anyway. I'm getting older. And I'm starting to have all these little problems, which I never had before. And I'm thinking to myself, what's going on here? Something's up. I go in, see her. I started getting some of those bumps. And I actually had one on the tip of my finger. And it was like the white cellulitis bump it looked almost like a pimple on the tip, tip of my finger we actually have a mosquito or a hornet up here frying they keep hitting that thing up there and they're frying it frying up there pretty good on the the um thing for zap the bug zapper but anyway what happened was every time you know when i got that i says i'm gonna go back in again i've had it like three or four times now <clears throat> and it's not a fun thing to have because at some point it can turn to sepsis and you can die from it Okay, so you, and, and if the more you take antibiotics, as you guys know, if you don't take them correctly um, or you miss a couple or something like that, the antibiotics doesn't work as well. It doesn't, next time you go to take it, it just doesn't work as well. And there's only so many antibiotics you can take for, for, for uh, cellulitis. So, and obviously, I've forgot once or twice, so I'm sure the antibiotics is not working as well as it should be working. So, I'm... Like on my third, like I said, third or fourth time of having cellulitis. But this time here, I went in and talked to her because at some point, what happens is you have to go in and you have to stay at the hospital and they put you on an IV drip. And they can put you on in there for like, usually it's three days and sometimes it'll do five days or whatever of this IV drip of the antibiotics. And it's a little bit stronger than usual. And sometimes you can, you can also ask if you want um, some places will do this, some places won't. I don't know if they'll do it here in the Philippines. You can add for um, mega doses of vitamin C, which actually actually helps you fight off infections also. So I'm going to go, when I go into the hospital, and I'm probably going to end up going in there because I'm seeing now that, and I've been on it now for like two or three days, that I'm having, it, it's not really healing up this time as, as much as it usually does. I got like welts on my arms and stuff like that. It's not a fun thing to have. So this time here, I'm probably gonna, she's gonna put me on the, this, this medicine now. She says, I think it was for like 20, 20 days this time, 20 days she said. She, gave, she, she um, had me buy all the medicine. So it's like 20 days, yeah, 20 days supply. And she says, we'll, we'll check and see after that if you still have any marks on you or welts on you or anything, then we're gonna have to do this. So guys, when you're out there, and you have mosquito bites here, the first thing you want to do is itch them. Don't. 
put alcohol on them or put a cold spoon on there as soon as you get a mosquito bite instead of itching it what you do is you put a cold spoon on on it the bottom part of the spoon and you touch it and, it and it brings that welt down so it's not as itchy a lot of people don't know about that it brings down the inflammation and it gets it gets it down but also put some alcohol on there or something like that because you don't want to be scratching that thing and you know there is still the chance that you could get dengue off of that but what happened with me you know i got bit three times in my leg three times in my leg and that's what started it and i scratched it during the night because i was i was like half asleep half awake scratching it and scratching it because something had bitten me wasn't thinking about it because i was you know in bed or whatever that's how it all started so when you're over here and you start seeing skin problems and i and i noticed this on a guy in a restaurant one time he had cellulitis really bad probably to the point where it was probably already septic and i was looking at his legs and i'm saying this guy here has full-blown cellulitis and he's not even getting it treated because he doesn't know what it is probably a lot of people don't know what it is and they don't know how bad it can get so when you do get something like this please see your doctor it starts out it might look like pimples <clears throat> it might look like a red welt on you it might it starts out that way sometimes then you start getting other little welts around it or you start getting itchy you maybe you got you know it could be anything like that and that's how it starts and like I said, it usually happens in older people. It happens on your legs, on your arms, your fingers. If it goes to your face, then you really got problems. And you do not want to get it on your face, guys. Trust me, because this stuff, on my arms and my legs, I have scars all over from the last ones. And those scars will probably never go away. It's not a fun thing to talk about, guys, but I want to throw it out there because I think it's important enough that you guys know about this. But anyway, guys, it's something I want to talk about today. I also want to talk about that in the, the, the Straight Times, which is the Singapore Straight Times, um, we're going to be having an article on done on um, the Philippine Info Channel, actually, and on expats. Um, and it's a pretty well-known newspaper, and you guys might want to check it out. I'm sure it's going to be online or whatever. And I'll probably put it up on my Facebook and stuff like that, or maybe I'll put a link out there when it when it shows up. I'll put a link to one of one of my um, vlogs or what have you, one of my future vlogs. So it's something that you guys might want to check out. Um, I guess it's going to be about expats mostly, but we're featured in that in that um, article. So we'll see how it comes out. Hopefully, it, it's some halfway decent, and they gave us a good write up. But it was really interesting talking to this lady. Um, she said she was waiting for a few people to send her some information. She still had needed to talk to a couple of people and stuff like that. I think there's going to be more people in the article than just me. So she was waiting for some, some other stuff. I'm not sure exactly what it was. I think she said it was other people she was waiting on. But once that's done, she's going to write the article and it should be in on the 18th. Anyway, guys, God bless. Take care.